Hello again, everyone. My name is Greg Anderson, and this is the Good Timekeeping Show with Greg Anderson. Today, I want to show you some diagnostic screens on this Casio G-Shock watch right here. This is the Casio G-Shock GW2310 using module 3195. So it's a little bit different from similar looking watches that are out there because this has a, a tough solar uh, function. So it will automatically charge the power source inside and multiband six, which means that there's a radio receiver inside this watch that's going to pick up atomic time information to keep the watch perfectly synchronized to the right time all the time. So how do you get into the diagnostics on this? Well, first of all, I should tell you, it's not in the owner's manual. And it's not really going to enhance the user experience very much to know what I'm about to tell you. But just in case you wanted to know everything there is to know about this watch, here's a little bit something, something more that you can know. Uh, to get into these diagnostics, you got to press three buttons at once, which is a little bit tricky on, on some of the button combinations. But usually in the owner's manual, I think they, they list these as button A, B, C, and D. So I'll just go through their three buttons. I'll skip A, then I'll skip B, then I'll skip C, and we'll just see how that goes. So for in this case, I'll, I'll try this and see if I can do this here. Uh, okay, there we go. Now this happens to show you some information about the atomic time reception. And this J refers to Japan because one of the receivers that it can uh, get its time data from is in Japan, if you happen to be within range. And this particular one transmits uh, the, the data with a continuous 40 kilohertz carrier wave. So that's what that means. If I push this button, that refers to the other Japanese transmitter, which is using a 60 kilohertz carrier wave. This is the United States transmitter. It's called WWVB, and it also has a 60 kilohertz carrier wave. This is the one from Germany, which I'm told is a 77.5 kilohertz carrier wave. And this is the one from England, so uh, the UK, I guess. So anyway, these are just references to uh, the different transmitters that this is able to receive when it's getting its atomic time information to keep itself set. Okay, next combination of buttons. Let me press this here. Okay, this is an LCD test. So in this case, most of the uh, LCDs are, the LCD segments are now visible on this particular screen. So you can see that right there. If I push this again, now this is saying 3179. I, I don't know why it says that because that's not the module number. But uh, anyway, that's just one of the things that it shows on that screen. This is showing me that my home time zone right now that I've set it to is Denver or the mountain time zone in the United States. And here is the full complement of LCD segments all visible right now. So there, there's a good uh, screen test for you to see all the segments are working correctly. And here's some patterns where just some of those segments are visible. And then we're back to regular timekeeping mode. All right, let's try the next combination of buttons. Okay, this is the tilt test. So this has the ability to automatically turn on a backlight when you tilt this up towards, uh, towards yourself like you're looking at the time. So first of all, it has to be dark enough. The solar cell will, will sense that it's dark enough. When it's dark enough, when you've got that automatic light enabled, then the tilt will turn it on. And this is showing you that the tilt sensor is working correctly. And when you tilt the watch in this manner in a uh, dark enough place, that's just telling you that, it, that it's working. All right, next up is one more test here. We'll push this combination of buttons. Oh, oh that didn't work. Okay, let's try that again. Um, there we go. All right, it's the solar cell test because I said, I said there's a solar cell built in here. Right now it's telling me, okay, standing by for the test. And the test is I'm going to uh, put something over the cell so that it'll be dark in there. And when I move my hand away, it'll show me something changed. Okay, that's just telling me, yes, the solar cell sensed a change in lighting. And that's it. That's the whole test for the solar solar cell. And those are all the diagnostic screens for this watch. So a lot of other G-Shock watches do similar things when you press those combinations of buttons. And so, well, I just thought I'd show you what it's like on this watch. And now you know. All right. Well, I'm going to have another episode of the Good Timekeeping Show coming up very soon. So thank you this time for watching.